guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another video for you guys i hope everybody's doing well i hope everybody's staying safe during this whole coronavirus isolation situation going on um yeah i have so much time on my hands like i've been watching narcos and narcos mexico and but yeah, um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about alcohols in products, alcohols in hair products. Um, I said I was going to do this video a while ago, so I'm finally getting to doing it now. So generally, there's a lot of information out there concerning alcohols, um, a lot of really good information, and a lot of misinformation as well. There are a lot of, I know there are a couple of people that are afraid of using products that contain alcohol because they feel like it damages your hair. So in today's video, I'm going to try my best to give you guys a fuller picture of um, the alcohols that are used in our hair products what they do I know we tend to want to classify things as good or bad but the truth is that all these alcohols even the alcohols that we consider bad alcohols have their purposes it just depends on how you use them and um, the quantity you're using them in so my goal in today's video is just to give you guys a full picture so that you will be able to make better decisions when picking your products and you won't be too scared of any product that you find alcohol in because some alcohols are actually really really good for our hair and they help our hair stay moisturized and healthy so that it grows better so yeah and um, without further ado sit tight and let's jump straight into the video okay so first of all the term alcohol is kind of like an umbrella term for a family of compounds so there are different types of alcohols with different structures that work differently in our head the structure of the alcohol the length of the hydrocarbon chain they all affect the properties of the alcohol and how it affects our hair and our skin. Normally there are two main types of alcohols used in our um, everyday products, our cosmetic products, whether it's hair care or skin care, and those are the short chain or drying alcohols and the long chain or fatty alcohols. Now it's normally the short chain alcohols that people consider bad alcohols for curly or kinky or curly or uh, coily hair because they tend to be drying and um, it's the fat chain, sorry, and it's the long chain of fatty alcohols that people tend to consider good alcohol. So like I said, I'm going to give you guys the pros and cons of each type and I'm going to tell you guys basically what they are. So let's start with the short chain or drying alcohol. So now the short chain alcohols are alcohols that contain three or less short, um, that contain three or less carbon atoms in their structure. So we have um, alcohols like ethanol, methanol, propanol, propyl, um, isopropyl alcohol, SD alcohol, um, alcohol, denatured alcohol. So yeah, these are the types of commonly used short chain alcohols. And because they have a small number of carbon atoms in their structure, they have a very low molecular weight. Hence, they evaporate very quickly. So now, what are the pros of short chain alcohols? What are they used for? So they're used in products like gels, hair sprays, um, holding sprays, products that you want to dry quickly, like fast drying products. You would find um, a lot of these short chain alcohols used to make hair spray because obviously when you spray hair spray in your hair, it's either maybe to give it hold or to give it shine. And you see most hair sprays evaporate very quickly. So those are the kind of things that um, short chain alcohols are used to make. They also used to make some gels as well because obviously you don't want gel to be soaking wet in your hair you want the gel to dry quickly once you apply it to your hair so yeah that those are the kind of products that it's used to make products that you want to dry quickly and you don't want them to like saturate or just stay wet in your hair it's even used in some hair dyes because these short chain alcohols tend to open up our cuticles more so it's used in hair dyes to allow the dyes and the coloring to absorb into our hair strands now what are the cons obviously because it evaporates quickly as it's evaporating it sucks out moisture from either your hair or your skin so it can cause dryness and um, it can also lead to irritation and um, another con is that um, when it's evaporating from your hair as it's sucking out the moisture it also tends to open up your hair cuticles and when that happens your hair tends to feel brittle it tends to feel frizzy tends to feel rough so that is basically the issue people have with short chain alcohols they can be quite drying so if you have kinky coily curly hair our hair really really craves moisture so our hair doesn't really like stuff that's going to make our hair even drier so that is why people normally consider short chain alcohols as bad alcohols because they are very dry so using these alcohols in your hair isn't just going to like make you bald overnight you can still use them once in a while depending on the style you're doing like if you're doing a style that you need hairspray in using hairspray once in a while isn't going to kill you it's not going to like severely damage your hair or anything it just depends on how you're using it and for you to be aware of the fact that if you're using it too much it can lead to dryness and bristleness and breakage in your hair 
So now let's move on to the other type of alcohols, the alcohols that are actually really really good for our hair and these are the fatty alcohols or the long chain alcohols. So as the name implies, um, long chain alcohols, these alcohols have um, a lot of carbon atoms in their structure. So they have like at least 12 carbon atoms in their structure. So yeah, the chain is quite long compared to the short chain alcohols. And they're naturally found in plants, um, oils, animals. They also have a high molecular weight and they act very differently compared to their short chain counterparts. So examples of long chain alcohols that you find in most moisturizing products are stereo alcohol, stereo alcohol, cetyl alcohol, behenyl alcohol, um, laurel alcohol, myristyl alcohol. So yes, I'm going to put all the names on the screen. So yeah, these are the most common types of um, long chain alcohols that you find in most moisturizing products and conditioners even. Now I'm going to start with the pros for these ones because these ones have a lot of pros. So um, the first pro and the one that's most beneficial to us is that um, um, long chain alcohols are emollients, meaning that they are very moisturizing, very lubricating for our hair and our skin. They can really moisturize our hair, join moisture and lock the moisture in because they form like a film over our hair strands. And if you have curly, kinky, curly hair, this is stuff that's actually going to make your hair healthier, combat dryness, really leave your hair moisturized and conditioned so that it grows better, it grows healthier, it doesn't break easily, hence you retain more length. Now another pro is that they are used as emulsifiers. Emulsifiers are used in product formulation to mix oil and water because you know oil and water don't mix naturally. So when you use an emulsifier, it makes it much easier to mix oil and water together. Um, another pro is that because of their moisturizing properties, they are used in a lot of really good um, conditioners and moisturizers to give your hair a very soft feeling because they form like a film over your hair. That's why they are used in um, good detangling conditioners as it makes it easier for you to detangle your hair and that is also less breakage and more length retention and they also give the conditioners really good slip and makes them thicker so that they glide through your hair and just makes your entire detangling process much easier and um, generally long chain or fatty alcohols are amazing for your hair there's no reason to really be scared of them if you see them in products they're actually there for a reason they help your hair a lot they help to moisturize and condition your hair you actually like stand up right now and go look at your favorite moisture Moisturizers, look at the ingredients. You definitely find one of the fatty alcohols I listed earlier in. At least sometimes you can have up to three in the products. You you definitely find a couple of them listed on the ingredients list. Now the cons of fatty or long chain alcohols is that um I won't really say like it's a con con, but like if you use them too much, if you use them in excess, they can make your hair very very greasy because they're super moisturizing. If you use too much, it can make your hair greasy or weigh down your hair and stuff like that. So it just depends on how the product you're using is formulated. So now I've basically talked to you guys about the two major types of alcohols used in our products. There are still other alcohols used. Um, most of the times they are used as preservatives um, to keep our products safe from organisms, microorganisms growing in the products that can actually damage the products. One of the most common ones used is benzoyl alcohol. Benzoyl alcohol has about seven carbon atoms in its chain, so um, it's not as um, light as the short chain alcohols and it's not as heavy as the um, long chain alcohols, so it kind of acts differently from it, it does so it acts very differently from both. And um, benzoyl alcohol is found naturally in a lot of essential oils and a lot of fruits, so and it has this very aromatic, nice scent. So a lot of times it is used as a fragrance um, in a lot of products. And it's also used as a preservative as well and preservatives are very important in products because they help to stop or reduce the growth of um, microbes or microorganisms in products that can uh, maybe lead to fungi or bacterial infections that can actually be more harmful for us. Another use of benzoyl alcohol is that when mixed in a 5% solution it can actually be used to treat head lice in children. Unlike the long chain and the um, sh short chain alcohols that actually affect the texture of your hair whether it's drying or whether it's moisturizing benzoyl alcohol doesn't really affect the texture of your hair at all if you're using too much of benzoyl alcohol it can also lead to irritation so like I said the quantity you're using is also very very important and most of the times when it's used in product formulations for fragrances or preservatives 
they use a very very small and safe amount so whenever you're looking at your product and you see benzoyl alcohol in it you want to make sure that it's not too high up on the ingredients list it should be like one of the last few couple of ingredients so yeah I think that's basically all I have for this video um like I said in the beginning all these alcohols have their pros and their cons some more pros than the other depending on the texture of your hair some may start to become damaging depending on how often you're using them or I um, mean what quantity you're using them in so I'm um, instead of just labeling everything good or bad I feel like it's better for us to have a better understanding a more wholesome understanding of what these ingredients do how they work so you'll be able to make better decisions when you're picking products and you won't be too scared of using certain things um I think yeah I've covered everything I wanted to cover let me know if you guys have anything to add let me know if you found the video helpful um yeah just let me know your thoughts down below I did a video recently on deep conditioners um moisturizing and protein deep conditioners differences and the effects that they have in our hair um i'm gonna probably be doing more videos like this let me know if you guys want to see more informative videos like this i've started looking to looking into a lot of um herbal hair care remedies so i've been looking doing a lot of research looking at a lot of research papers and i'm starting to see some ingredients that can actually be useful and i'm more than happy to make the videos on the stuff that i've learned i've actually learned a lot and there's a lot of information out there you just have to be willing to do a lot of reading and look through them but i'll be more than happy to summarize all the stuff that I see and make videos on them and actually test some of them out of my hair and tell you guys my results um right now my hair is currently in braids so I have about 60 braids in my hair I was bored so I decided to braid my hair you guys know I normally leave my hair in twists so I decided to braid it because I wanted to see what a 60 braid braid outs will look like on my hair I'm gonna be doing like taking out the braids later today after I'm done recording this video so let me know if you guys want to see the um, results of when I take down these braids and please 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 stay safe during this coronavirus period I'm um, just stay in your house just minimize going out and wash your hands and just do the stuff that you know you're supposed to be doing because all of us really need to play our part so that this thing goes away as quickly as it came but yeah um let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section don't forget to like comment subscribe and share you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below on my face on this side also do not forget to watch my other natural hair videos on this side i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys